Back. Expect stricter security measures the next time you head out to a Johnson County football game. The school district released new safety rules for games after someone fired shots in front of Lovett Stadium during a scrimmage. Jessica Cha visited town to learn about the rules and what folks in town think about them. Kids are our most precious commodity resource and we want to make sure that when they come to school every day that they feel safe. Superintendent Christopher Walken says he was at the game the night the shooting happened. So a lot of people were scared. We saw a lot of people that were running, trying to find a, a place as safe as possible. And our ultimate concern, our top concern, was making sure that our community felt safe. Walken says these measures are a sign of our times. They've been working with law enforcement and Homeland Security to create stricter security, like metal detectors. No outside drinks or bags will be allowed in the games, and large groups cannot gather around the bathroom or concession stands. Definitely disappointing that people would bring things that have nothing to do with our school and upset our fans. We just want to make sure that we're doing the same things that other venues are doing to make sure that all of our fans are safe. It had never been nothing like this happened before. Herman Price lives in the apartments right across from the football stadium. He says he likes that the school is stepping up. Safety first, you know what I'm saying? The apartment complex, these children out here, but they're doing the best they can, so. You know, this is for the community, you know. I think they're a little too strict. Joseph Kirby says some of his stepkids were at the game the night of the shooting, and he appreciates the school trying. And I heard about the new rules they've got, and they're fine. That's perfectly okay. But they're not rules to protect people on the outside. They're not rules to protect people from doing it again from the outside if, you know, God forbid something worse happened. In Johnson County, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Superintendent Watkins says there are more long-term security measures to come. Yeah, the first home game, September 2nd against Warren County.